in their communities. These students embody the Heisman ideals of excellence and truly deserve this honor. This year, more than 30,000 students nationwide applied for this award. So to stand out from this competitive pool of applicants is a great achievement. We are proud to say that Queen Anne's County High School has a student in the class of 2017 who meets this criteria and has advanced to the state level. As such, we'd like to give a special recognition to Ian McGrory. <laughs> but also for being recognized as Maryland's top male for the Wendy's High School Heisman Award. Ian, please come forward. All right, Ian, throughout your four years here at Queen County High School, you have projected to your peers and community members how to be a role model, not only in the classroom, but outside of the classroom. Congratulations to you. We have a special guest here today from Wendy's to help us recognize Ian and to say a few words about this award. So please welcome Mr. Patrick Parks, the regional manager from Wendy's. Hey guys, thank you. Uh, Ian, pleasure to be here. Trish Alfaro, I'd like to introduce, she's our marketing manager for the area as well. She decided to come and uh, meet Ian because this is really a a great event. Uh, I've had the pleasure of talking to uh, a few classes before and I really appreciate you guys inviting me here. Like the principal, I'm very proud to be here today to recognize Ian for his outstanding achievements. But first I want to give you a little bit of background about Wendy's and Dave Thomas and the different programs that he put in place to help benefit his communities. One of these is the Wendy's High School Heisman. It's been in place for about 20 years now, and it really is a great award. And I'll tell you why Dave liked this award so much. Okay. They believe that the students of today are important because they're the future of tomorrow, and that each student can be a positive role model for their peers, classmates, and society. This year, these guidelines motivated 30,000 seniors across the nation, 30,000, think about how many people that is, 30,000 across the nation applied for the Wendy's High School Heisman Award. Okay, so the field is narrowed to less than 900 state finalists for Maryland, and then last week, that field was narrowed again to less than 100, okay, for the state winners. That's one male and one female for each state. Ian, as a state winner, you're, in, you're with an elite group of our national committee, reviewed the applications, and one of your fellow state winners and selected only 10 students now. So that's only 10 all across the nation. Okay, five males and five females. So that's a pretty big deal. Think about that for just a second. Um, so Ian, the real reason I'm here today is to tell you that you're one of the 10 finalists across the nation. That's really amazing. So Ian, every bit of your hard work throughout your high school career has paid off and ultimately contributed to your success today. For this incredible achievement, you'll be presented with the Wendy's Gold Medal, $100 Wendy's gift card, and a $5,000 college scholarship. Pretty big. <laughs> Along with the scholarship, he also gets a trip to New York to participate in the Wendy's High School Heisman finalist and high school and college Heisman weekend festivities with your national finalist fellows. Okay, so during the high school weekend in New High School Weekend in New York, one male and one female will be picked for the finalists for the entire 2017 uh, season. I wish you the best of luck. You worked hard to achieve this honor and very proud of your achievements. To the rest of the students, friends, family, and faculty, you can support Ian 
by going to his profile. We, Ian has a profile, so you be set up on Wendy's High School Heisman. <laughs> you see, you can go to his profile, check him out, and vote for his support. Um, also, there'll be a Wendy's High School Heisman television special on ESPN2 the mid part of December. So I want to thank you all for being here today, and particularly, I want to thank Ian, his family, his principal, for including me in such a happy occasion. This is an exciting day for Queen Anne's County High School, Centerville, and for Maryland. Please join me in a round of applause for this. Mr. McCluskey would like to say a couple of words. Thanks, everybody. Uh, you know, I, this is really an honor for me. I've known Ian uh, for more than a decade, since he was a little uh, first grader to the young man uh, who exemplifies the scholar-athlete that he is today. Uh, a couple of years ago, he came to the town for uh, an Eagle Scout project. Uh, his idea was to install a handicapped accessible walkway to help the town of Centerville, town of Centerville address uh, a complaint from disabled uh, residents about one of our parks. It was a terrific example uh, of his tenacious commitment to our town and how to serve our community. He's learned a lot of great leadership skills. I know that when he came into that, he didn't know anything about concrete, about permits, about anything. And he was the one that was responsible for really making all that happen. The town of Centerville could not be more proud of, uh, that a young resident like Ian uh, is being recognized by the Wendy's High School Heisman Scholarship Program. Congratulations, Ian, his parents as well, and do Centerville proud. So much to uh, my parents for all their support and um, to my coaches for everything they taught me and uh, and yeah to my grandparents and uh, Jeff and Lee Flavor, thank you so much um, and thank you so much for this honor. Really thank
might be for like a group of things but then when I saw you guys and then my coaches and I was like uh, <laughs> Mike Davis how are you nice to meet you nice, nice to meet you, you. Oh, I, I know yeah, yeah I met you at the yeah, your, uh, Eagles a couple times that's yeah, right that's times. right and so congratulations first and foremost thank you so much yeah uh, well can you kind of walk me through what the uh, your reaction and kind of the emotion going through all this um well when they when everyone first walked in I thought it was for uh, like the football players or something. I knew something was going to happen because my girlfriend is a cheerleader and she said they had to bring their uniforms for something. Ah. <laughs> and, um, but I thought it was going to be for the football team yeah. or something. And then, uh, but then when I saw my parents, I was like, hmm, uh, maybe it's for soccer or yeah. something. And then, um, and then when I started seeing my grandparents and my coaches and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Franklin and Tim McCluskey and everybody, I, I was like, oh, this must exactly be for me. Um, yes. Cool. And so this award obviously is athletic based and community involvement. And so can you kind of say uh, and walk me through some of the uh, things that you do here at the school as well as uh, in your free time? Um, yeah, sure. So uh, here at the school, um, I've been uh, the class president for mm -hmm. the um, past four years. And with that, it's been mostly um, like fundraising and um, we put on prom. We're doing the senior class trip this year, um, and then other community service uh, projects with that. Um, I'm also involved in the, the SGA, yeah. student government, um, and the, the regional SGA. And with okay. that, we do more, uh, more uh, service and things like that. Um, I'm also a part of the NHS, which is uh, more service. And um, this year, I was just elected as the president of the Future Business Leaders of America. Wow. Um, with that, we're doing the canned food drive, um, actually, next week. Okay. Which that's a lot of preparation. So in your spare time. So yeah, really. <laughs> what do you do? Um, you? Yeah, so then when I'm not doing stuff after school, which is pretty much never, um, uh, it's most, I have Boy Scouts, yeah. um, which has been a huge part of my life. What, what troop are you in again? I'm in, I'm in uh, troop 464. 464, yes. Perfect. And you got your Eagle Scout, correct? Yes, at the and, I just, projects. Yes, and I just recently uh, got my Eagle Scout award. I did the project. Um, Two years ago, yeah. and then, or last year, and then this past summer, I just got, or I did the board of review and um, earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Right, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm also involved in uh, the Maryland Youth Advisory Council, which is a, um, I was appointed by the governor for that. And um, we uh, uh, ask questions among the youth and yeah. come up with a, uh, a platform for what the youth want to see in the legislation. Wow, that's uh, cool. The session that we recommend that to the, we go testify for the, uh, the Maryland legislature, which I got to do a couple of times, wow. which is really cool. Um, so what is it kind of that drives you to go and do all this stuff? It doesn't seem like you ever have any time to uh, just sit down and relax. Does that get you antsy just not doing anything or kind of what is the uh, motivation behind um, all of this? Yeah, ever since, I mean, even elementary school, I just love doing stuff. I don't yeah. like sitting around, so I've just tried to get myself involved with all sorts of stuff, and I just think everything's, you know, doing all these cool different things is so much cooler than just yeah, sitting there for me. So um, I try to just get involved with all sorts of stuff, and there's so much stuff that's fun and interesting for me that I don't, I haven't really figured out what I want to focus on, so for now I'm just doing everything I can and until Absolutely. I figure that out. Cool, and any plans for next year? Um, so I've applied to uh, multiple colleges, yeah. uh, and I'm applying to a couple more, and I don't know which one I'm going to end up at. Um, some of them I have offers for for soccer, so then some of them I would be playing yeah. soccer at. Uh, other ones, uh, it's just for just to go to the school because I like the school. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so you're number ten, right? Yes. Number ten. So number ten play? on the high school team. Yes, and number I'm number thirteen on my club team. Very cool. So you're a midfielder. Uh, yes, I was a mid I'm a midfielder on the high school team and I have been a midfielder on my club team, although this year I'll be playing center back because we lost our two center backs to college. Oh, very cool. Um, can you kind of tell me a little bit maybe about some of the support that you've gotten? I mean, you have a, you're at a young age and you mm -hmm. probably had to have a lot of people take you places and give you guidance and things, so what's that kind of been like? Absolutely. Um, my parents are just 
relentlessly energetic um, and are always willing to take me wherever I need to go, no matter how far it is. Yeah. You know, we have tournaments in Florida, all the way in Virginia, North Carolina, yeah. Pennsylvania, just everywhere. Um, and then even more recently with college visits and, you know, when a coach is interested in you, you have to go up to the college and right. go to their, um, their clinic to, for them to see you. And, you know, they drive me eight hours. Um, I did a, this past summer, I did a, there was a lot of those, but I did a um, service project out in Western Virginia where I was helping rebuild homes. And then in order for me to be able to do that, though, because I had a clinic um, that I had to go to up in upstate New York, yeah. uh, the next day my dad came out and picked me up and drove me. He drove eight hours out, picked me up, and we drove together uh, another 13 hours north wow. from there, which was just incredible that he was willing to do that. Yeah. And I, I really just appreciate everything that they do for That's me. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure everybody's proud. They're all here today, so congratulations, man. Good Thank luck you with so everything. much. Thank you so much. Absolutely. New York in December, right? Yes. So what do you think? Yes. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but it should be a fun time. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it's going to be like, but it'll be cool to meet other people that, from all over the country that are...